He is Superman, one of the most influential businessmen in Asia. He has turned a modest investment into a $37 billion empire, and it's a shame that most of you don't even know about him. But that's about to change, as in today's video, we are going to peek inside the inside life of Hong Kong's richest billionaire. Moving ahead, give this video a thumbs up. Li Keqing is a famous businessman in Hong Kong. He started his own plastics company when he was just 22 years old. Over time, his company became very successful and spread to different industries, such as real estate, communication, and retail stores. He became one of the richest people in Hong Kong. Li Keqing now leads two major companies, Chung Kong Hutchison Holdings and Chung Kong Asset Holdings, these companies operate in over 50 countries around the world. Li Keqing founded his company, Chung Kong Industries, in the 1950s. In the 1970s, it became Chung Kong Holdings and began focusing on property investments. Li Keqing saw the opportunity to invest in real estate when Hong Kong's economy grew quickly. As the city became an important economic center in Asia, his investment paid off. In 1972, Chung Kong Holdings became a public company on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Chung Kong Holdings quickly became a major player in Hong Kong's real estate market. The company focused on building homes, offices, stores, factories and hotels, helping to shape the city's infrastructure. Chung Kong Holdings was successful because it was able to recognize and respond to changes in the market. This allowed them to stay competitive and become a leading company in their field. Because of this, Chung Kong Holdings reported very strong financial results in 2010. Li Keqing multiplied his wealth by buying a struggling dock company called Hutchison Wampoa and transforming it into a major international port operator. Originally, Hutchison Wampoa was a British-owned conglomerate established in the 1860s with interests in ports, shipping and other businesses. Li Keqing saw potential in the company, believing it was undervalued and mismanaged. During the 1970s, he gradually purchased shares of Hutchison Wampoa. Finally, 1979, after purchasing enough shares, he took over the company. Li Keqing overhauled Hutchison Wampoa focusing on growth and more strategic investments. This achievement made him the first Hong Kong Chinese businessman to lead a large company funded by foreign investment. Li Keqing continued his success in real estate, but he also understood the importance of having a variety of businesses. In 2005, Li Keqing started a private investment company called Horizons Ventures to find new opportunities in tech. His first big tech investment was in Facebook in 2007. At the time, Facebook was a young company and didn't make much money. However, Li Keqing saw its potential and invested $60 million. This turned out to be a very wise decision as Facebook grew to become one of the world's biggest companies. Li Keqing continued to invest in other tech companies like Siri, Spotify, Skype, Waze, Zoom, and Celsius Holdings. Now Horizons Ventures has investments in over 140 companies across 17 countries. Many of these investments are in the United States, but the company also invests heavily in countries throughout Asia. In addition to technology companies, Li Keqing has also invested in other industries like utilities and ports. His company, CK Hutchison Holdings, is a major player in the global port industry, operating 54 ports in 25 countries. One of his important holdings is the Watson Group, a major health and beauty retailer with thousands of stores worldwide. This company has become an industry leader in the retail sector. Mr. Lee also has expanded his business interests beyond retail. In 1986, he purchased a large stake in Husky Energy, a Canadian oil company. He eventually became the company's owner and helped it grow significantly. 
Mr. Lee is also known for his investments in the United Kingdom, notably in the telecommunications industry. He launched the Orange Mobile Phone Network, which became very successful. In 1999, he sold Orange to a German company for a large sum of money. His children, Victor Lee and Richard Lee, are also active in the business world. Victor Lee works in philanthropy through the Lee Kaching Foundation, which focuses on giving back to the community. Richard Lee is an entrepreneur who founded the Pacific Century Group, a company that invested in many different areas, such as technology and communications. Lee Kaching's company, CK Hutchison Holdings, along with CK Asset Holdings, are the central parts of the family's business. However, the family is also involved in other companies like Husky Energy, A.S. Watson Group, and more. Li Keqing began his career with very little, and his hard work helped him build a large and successful business empire. His children continue to build on that success in their own ways. That's a wrap. What do you think about this billionaire's life? Let us know in the comments. To see more videos like these, subscribe to our channel. We will see you in the next one.